Okay, so for braiding, you have three long, thin coils, and you're gonna take the left and go over the middle, and then you take the right and go over towards the middle. It's kind of tricky to get it started, and then once you do, it starts to make sense. The left and go over to the middle, the right and go over to the middle. See, it starts looking like a braid now. The left, go over to the middle. The right, go over to the middle. Left, middle. Right, middle. Left, middle. Right to the middle. Left to the middle and then you would finish it off. So if you're on this side, you could go see if you could make that even better. It's kind of tricky, but I think I would have to basically start where it starts looking good there and cut it off and cut it off. And there I have my braid. That's kind of the trickiest one, I think. And then we have our arches. So I've cut four, you could do three, little, they've been sitting here a minute, so they're a little dry. If you want them to be really arched, I literally just used my fingernail, my finger to make that little curve. You can also use <clears throat> your pencil to make a curve that works too and then put them around so these are nice when you finish these you would make sure that these are nice and even as well. So see how this is all uneven right now? I would take it and cut it. And these are fun to build with as well. When we add these pieces together, we will slip and score, but when we're making our little coils, it's all plastic. We smooth it out a lot. It, it sticks together pretty well. And as we would build with these, um, we would have to decide on whether they're gonna be best built right away and used right away, or if we want them to get a teeny bit firmer, um, wet leather hard and start building with them like that. But usually your coil pots, you build more plastic or, or wet leather hard. If you get into really big ones, that's not true. But um, these smaller ones, we stay in those stages. So there we are. I want you to try as many of these as possible. Make sure that you make these little pieces too. Um, these are, start with little spheres for these to make little donuts. I um, made a sphere and I flattened it out and I actually used the bottom of a pin, a rolling pin to make that mark. And I flattened these out, remember, we don't want anything thicker than our thumb right here. So nothing thicker than that or it will explode in the kiln. So follow this chart, make all of these little pieces and um, hand it in when you're finished. And then we'll get to building in our next class.